What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. I told y'all I'll be bringing you an outfit video for the Raging Bull 5s. I'm a little bit later than I expected, but here it is. I included more than five outfits this time around. I know the Raging Bull 5s is a loud sneaker, and I really wanted to show y'all that you do have options and how I will be styling my pair. Don't forget to let me know which outfit was your favorite, which outfit was your least favorite. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Let's get into these fits. This time around for the outfit video, I wanted to do kind of like a side-by-side -side kind of thing. So down below in the comment section, let me know which format you like better. Do you like the voiceover format that I've been using the past couple videos? Or do you like this side-by-side -side look? For the first outfit, I went with what I think is going to be everybody's kind of instinct when it comes to styling the Raging Bull 5s, and that's to go all black. Going all black with a very loud shoe, I feel like people do that all the time to kind of try and tone the shoe down, but also it's a way of just letting the shoe be be loud and do its own thing. So I went with the Zara compact tee on top. Y'all know I love those tees. I have some black ones, I have some white ones. Those are my favorite tees to wear alone or layering. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing my Jaded London cargo leather pants. It's like a vegan leather pants, but they're not skinny leather pants. I don't think I'm quite there yet to give those a try, but it's the cargo leather pants, which for me, I think is a good look. And I have them kind of like draped over the Raging Bull 5s. I like this outfit. This outfit gives me concert vibes, but also like old school Kanye with the Red October. Probably not wear a hat with this outfit, but I did go ahead and pull one out just to show y'all if I did wear a hat with this outfit, how I would match it up. So I have my red and white Yankees hat, that actually the same hat that I'm wearing right now, red and white with the gray bottom, nice patch on the side. This is from the Hat Club Ladies Night Collection or Female Fitted Direction collection that they did recently. So that's the one that I pulled out. And I think this is a nice match because you have all the colors in there, red, black, and white. Not everybody gets down with the leather pants, so I did want to show another all black styling option. This time I have the same Zara compact tee on top, but on bottom I'm wearing my sweatpants from Amy Leondor. Very comfortable sweatpants. I will say they're not as comfortable as my Kith sweatpants, but they are very soft, very comfortable, and they stay black. When you wash them, they stay black. And that's really important to me because it makes no sense to go out buy sweatpants wash them and now they're like a washed out black a vintagey looking black it's just kind of a waste of money so i wanted something that was going to be good quality this outfit has more of a cozy vibe to it a more casual look to it and so the fitted cap makes more sense it seems more appropriate here it's the same cap from last time and you can also you know it gets chilly outside it's cold outside you can go ahead and throw on a black denim jacket to stay with that all black look nice sleek you really can't go wrong with all black for the next look i wanted to incorporate a little bit more color so on top i'm wearing this paisley denim jacket from menace los angeles this is the matching jacket to go with the pants that i showed in the previous outfit video that i did the paisley denim pants so this is the matching jacket together i think it's a bit much it kind of gives me justin timberlake in the early 2000s vibes but separately i think they're really strong pieces this is probably one of my favorite denim jackets underneath i'm wearing the white zara compact tee and on bottom i'm wearing my ride or die Kith gray sweatpants. I like the way this outfit came together. It's definitely something I will wear on like a regular day, a chill day. Maybe I'm going out to hang out, going out to get something to eat. It's really something that I will wear. I think it's a solid fit. And if you don't like the loud denim jacket or a blue denim jacket, you think that it doesn't work well, you know, to each his own, you can always go with a black denim jacket because there is black in the shoe. So maybe some people like that a little bit more. Some people like to match, some people don't. It's really personal preference. All of this is my style you know my personal taste the outfit does look a little calmer with the black denim jacket so if i was trying to not be so loud the black denim jacket would probably be my choice for these outfits i pulled out two hat options one is that ladies night hat club hat that i just talked about and the other is from hat heaven it's a pirate's cap i like the outline on this one you get some other colors in there yellow red black with the gray bottom either way i think i would go gray bottom because you don't want to work in too many different colors but i think both hats look good with with the different outfits. So for this next look, I was a little skeptical. On top, I'm wearing this Zara cropped sweater and like this cream color is cropped in a way that was a little bit uncomfortable when I was trying it on to film this video. But then I actually wore it outside. I wore this outfit outside and in motion while I was going about my day, I felt good and I felt like I looked good. And that kind of just changed my whole perspective of this outfit. So 
I think that it's a really strong fit, but it's definitely not gonna be for everyone. So crop sweater on top, Zara compact tee underneath that. The blue jeans, these are the light blue jeans from Boohoo that I picked up in a recent haul. Raging Bulls on the bottom, of course, that's why we're all here. And I paired it up with the Red Velvet Hat Club hat. I paired it up with this one because it has a pink bottom, so you get kind of another shade of red in there. And also the Yankees logo on the front is cream, so it matches the sweater. I think everything came together nicely. Like I said, I was a little iffy about this one when I was kind of standing still in it and filming the B-roll, because it makes you feel awkward sometimes. But outside, in motion, going about my day, I really like this fit. This next one I had high hopes for and it kind of fell a little bit flat. I was a little bit disappointed. Not because I don't like the outfit. I think the outfit is solid, but I don't like it on me. I think it makes me look a little bit young and I'm not too keen on that. So on top, I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren polo rugby. So it's not a long sleeve. It's more of like a lightweight sweater. So you can see it has like the kangaroo pocket. It's, it's a bit more warm and substantial than a long sleeve. I can wear this out to a restaurant, wear it to a movies wear it like on a cooler summer night and still be okay. On the bottom, I'm wearing these utility gear pants that I picked up from Uniqlo in like this dark green color. I think dark green works well with both red and navy, so that's why I like the way this outfit comes together. I just thought it made me look a little bit young. I switched things up on the fly a little bit and I swapped out the polo for a graphic tee. This graphic tee is from Codone and Half Evil. It's a collection that they did together. It's a cream color. It has like these red accents in it, black accents in it on the graphic. I think that it paired really well. I switched things up again and I swapped out the Uniqlo utility gear pants for these Rothko camouflage pants. These camouflage pants are actually the best camouflage pants that I have. I like how vibrant the camo is, like the camo colors and they fit really really well i'm using that same red velvet hat club yankees hat because the cream in the hat matches the shirt even though the red shade on the base of the hat doesn't necessarily match the raging bulls everything still comes together it coordinates i also tried these pants with a more basic t-shirt so on top i'm wearing the kiff just us t-shirt i don't think they make these anymore but it's an all over tan t-shirt that says just us on the pockets very simple very plain but it goes really well this is probably one of my top three from this outfit video. Of course, everybody's style is different. I'm just showing you what I plan on wearing with my Raging Bull Fives. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show us more YouTubers some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.